In this lesson, I'm going to familiarize you with the workspace in Photoshop CS3. It's fairly simple. You have your command menus, which you're used to seeing in most all programs. File, Edit, and then some specific ones that are to Photoshop. Image, Layer, Select, Filter, Analysis, View, you're used to seeing that. Window and Help, you're also used to seeing. So those are the command menus up top. Off to the left here is called the toolbox, and these are all your different tools that we're going to get into um, the use of. And you can adjust your toolbox here. See these little two arrows here? So you can change the shape of it so that you have two columns that are shorter, and then expand it so it's just one single column. So those are your tools, or your toolbox. And then up here, are your tool options. So depending on which tool you choose, your options up here are going to change. So there are options within each tool in the toolbox. And then over here, these three boxes you see, which include navigator, histogram, info, color, swatches, styles, layers, channels, and paths, three separate boxes with tabs. These are your tool palettes, which you can uh, adjust what items you want in those palettes, not unlike uh, a paintbrush palette where you determine which colors are on the palette. So these are your palettes. Now, as far as just basically opening a file, you got a couple different options. You can go to File, as you're used to doing, Open, and if it doesn't already default to this, to this folder, you can go to my computer, the C drive, program files, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop CS3, and then samples. And this is where we're going to be working in um, for this tutorial. And you can adjust. Obviously, if you're used to Windows, you can adjust so that you can see thumbnails or view these items in whatever way you'd like and then open items from here. So we could try opening the duck for instance here. There you go. Now if you had your own files, you'd probably go to My Documents and then uh, My Pictures and so on and so forth. But like I said, we'll be working with the samples here in Photoshop. So that's one way to open a file is File Open. The other is to use this management program that Adobe makes called Adobe Bridge. And I, you notice I clicked on the little magnifying glass. It says BR, actually, and the folder. And it's going to open a program called Adobe Bridge, which is a very useful tool in managing all your photos. And then from there, we're able to see a nice display that we can choose from. Now, I've already made sure that over here under Folders, under this tab, there's a lot of familiar um, pieces to this program that you see in other programs, just like in Internet Explorer. Favorites, folders, the contents of that folder. Um, you can filter by specific documents. Let's say you only want to see QuickTime videos, TIFF images, so on and so forth. You have dates created. I only want to see the ones created on this date, so on and so forth. And we're going to get into this a little bit more later. And you have a lot of familiar tools up here, File, Edit, View, Stacks, Label, Tools, Window, and Help. But anyway, just to open up a file, here we get a nice preview of what's in the sample folder, which I said we'd be working with. So that duck that we opened earlier, you can just simply double click on it, and it'll bring it into Photoshop CS3. So those are the two different ways to open a file. Now Photoshop makes use of digitized images, and that's what this is. And a digitized image is break, basically breaking an image down into very small squares called pixels. And basically you can have a, a digitized image from a, any number of sources, from your digital camera, from a CD with a digitized image on it, maybe a JPEG or a TIFF file. Maybe you've scanned some photographs. Um, you can even capture frames from video or artwork that you've created and scanned. 
Um, any number of sources can be used with Photoshop to, uh, to modify and amend the graphic. And a lot of the same tools within Photoshop you're going to see in other Adobe products such as Illustrator, InDesign, Flash, so on and so forth. So it, it's best to familiarize yourself with the format so that you can make use of the other products Adobe makes. So there's a brief overview of how to open a file and basically what your areas are as we went over. Your toolbox, your tool options, your command menus, and your tool palettes.